I would like to watch heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder endanger the life of an ESPN employee. Howie, please roll it. Puedes pegar aquí la pancita. Aquí la pancita. O aquí arriba. ESPN. Uno. Did Deontay know what they were saying? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they were saying in Spanish, it got translated to English as deck that guy as hard as possible. That was the eyeball departing the costume. And of course, the internet bow. This went viral. People claimed that the man inside the suit had his jaw broken. Deontay Wilder apologized on Instagram, saying, You know, you're brave. I'm so sorry if this happened. But we have an update because he is an ESPN employee. And I am glad to announce that that man is dead. I'm just kidding. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's an ESPN researcher whose name, in fact, is Tony Romo. All right, now. His name's Tony Romo. Now, I would, I would like to say that the world would have known that he was okay by the mere fact that we were running it, <laughs> right? Like, I think that that was the giveaway that he was all right. And now that we know that he's all right, I'm going to speak for everybody else. I'm going to have the courage to tell the truth that nobody Please. else wants to tell. This was a lot funnier when I thought he had his jaw broken. <laughs> What? Come right, on now. But, this is not funny unless you thought he got hurt because it's like, oh my goodness, heavyweight champion punches padded man and padded man is still injured. Otherwise, this is just a dude throwing a fake punch. So I am glad that the guy is doing okay, but it ain't that funny no more. The padding apparently was strong enough to withstand Deontay Wilder. I just want to tell our own researcher, Ryan Cortez, who I've made feed me cereal and pour syrup in my mouth, it could be worse, man. It could be worse. Wow. I'm sure Cortez wanted that to be the way this segment ended. <laughs> Love you, man. In closing, I'd like to deliver some bad news, America. We're going to be stuck with Conor McGregor forever. Now, think about this. The last two times most of us paid attention to McGregor, he got the brakes beat off him. And after that, he showed up at a Cowboys game with a film crew and getting the star treatment. Let's watch. Like, it doesn't matter if he wins, right? Oh. Credibility doesn't matter with him. Here he is what talking is to Jared. The executive VIP treatment? Dude, like, if you're the Cowboys, why you want to be around a loser? The last two times I saw him, he was a loser. Whoa. Oh, and then Whoa. that. The <laughs> then that. The push throw. Um, wow. It is amazing that apparently winning is totally unessential to his stock as a pop cultural figure. Like, he's past that. Right. And meanwhile, Habib is out here now challenging Floyd Mayweather to a fight. He was out here with Leonard Ellerbee being like, hey, let me get paid too. Let me get lose as well to become more popular. I think he, like, maybe he thinks he'll get to wrestle Floyd. Because Floyd is I like, I am not going that. to compete against you at what you do best. <laughs> I'm going to compete at the thing. I'm one of the best of all time. Man. You will literally never touch me, and I will make no. $50 million. Yes, and then after that, we'll still be stuck with Conor McGregor. Absolutely. He is not going anywhere. Nah, he's here.